Today we're going to be fishing with the Shakespeare Disney Princess rods. Got the princess of the ocean herself, Moana here. Hopefully she brings me a good look. I'm rocking with the Frozen 2. Brand new, fresh off the aisle. Just going to go ahead and rig up what we're going to be fishing with today. We figured it's probably best to stick to the soft plastics today on these because they're very, very, very lightweight. Like ultra, ultra light. So starting out, we're both gonna be using the Wacky Rig Trapper Hook along with uh, some Yum Dingers or Cinco's. Tying on a Palomar knot because this line isn't very strong anyway. So we wanna have the strongest knot we can possibly have uh, tied on this. Yeah, we're gonna be trying to catch some, uh, some big bass on these today. All right, so here's what we're looking like. It is pretty windy out here today, so hopefully they cast pretty good. What are we thinking? I'm gonna say they're probably not gonna want to, but we'll try it, so. All right, we're ready to hit the water. See what these things can do. Golly, I cast it over and it went that way. I'd say, man, I ain't gotta sit and worry about if he's got one on or not. Listen, wind is so bad. How you tighten the drag on these things? Sheesh! It's starting off pretty quick. It's probably what my fourth cast or something. Yeah, uh, we're gonna get her back in the water. Well, that did not go where I wanted it to. Got a bite on, got a fish. I thought it does. It got one. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> that is the smallest bass I've ever seen. Moana, queen of the seas. Hook me up with a fish here. <laughs> Let's go. That was my first catch on the Shakespeare. Um, what was pretty cool about it, it didn't even feel like really, like I could tell I had the fish on, I could tell when it bit. Uh, but I thought the rod would like be bent in half, which it wasn't that big of a bass either. But yeah, it, it done pretty good against that bass, so. All right, Moana. Well, that ain't where I wanted it to go. I'm curious to see what they used to do with a big one. Ah, he got off. <laughs> Dang. You definitely can't set the hook hard on me. Got him. Ah, oh, it got off. Dang. Got him. That one got off too, man. All right, so one thing I'm noticing about these rods as well, when you're setting the hook, you can't really set it that hard, you know, where the rods are so flimsy and lightweight. So it's kind of hard to set the hook. I've got two right to the boat, they've got off. I'm gonna try to set the hook a little bit harder, make sure that hook sets in the fish and we can get it in the boat. Got one. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, he got off. All right, boys. I'm gonna set the heck out of this hook. I'm gonna come back from Oneida and throw it down. <laughs> I'll probably flip my boat, that's all right. Well, that is my first tree fish and there is no way. Uh-oh, I got so lucky right there. Had a good bite over there right then. Again, I think the hook setting problem is, was the issue that time. <laughs> I think I'm on. I ain't got to. Tell you what, I'm getting a cast down on this thing. Put it perfectly over here beside this tree. So I've already decided when I get another bite, 
I'm gonna set this hook so hard. Like I don't care if the rod breaks, but I've missed too many fish. Or actually I've got them to the boat and they've got off because I thought I had a fish on right there. Got them to the boat because where the rod's just really flimsy. I mean, look, there's literally, that's like a quarter of a rod here that I've got. So, so over here's a very good looking tree. If I can, I'm gonna try to get as far up under it as possibly can with this thing. I think I got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it got off, man. I seen it right here. As you can see that, guys, I set that hook as hard as I could set it right there. And it's like the line just came back out. That felt like a pretty decent bass too so we're gonna get back in and keep trying it though well i think i'll be fish hanging around this tree somewhere man that should definitely be a fish right there oh yeah come on got a hit oh i got him that's a good one that's a good one that's a good one Oh yeah. <laughs> All right boys, so not as big as I thought, but it definitely felt huge on this rod. Uh, caught her over here by this tree. It was a hard fight. I didn't really think it was hooked pretty good, but we got her perfectly hooked. We're gonna get her back in the water. Hey, I caught about a pound and a half bass over here and it was taking that drag out like crazy. I thought it was a monster. If we do catch about a three pounder, we're destroyed. We'll have to grab it by our hands and start pulling it. <laughs> no. I got it right where I wanted it, but I didn't want to hit that stick. <laughs> it should work there. Have I got one? I believe I do. Got him. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Ain't no big feller. <sighs> yep, not a monster, but he is a fish nonetheless. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up a little bit, go with the weightless Texas rig on the lizard. It matches this rod and reel combo, the color combo, it matches it perfectly. So let's get it on the princess set up here. So Jerry's got this new trailing motor, but yet he's still out there paddling. <laughs> I guess he forgot he had it. Ah, oh, dang it. Got a bite on the lizard. But unfortunately, couldn't get it done because of these bot rods. Oh, well, Brandon, I've been thinking maybe uh, MMA fishing should make some kid rods. Yeah, I agree. Because, I mean, we've caught fish on these, but we've also missed a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're definitely missing them. Just can't set the hook on them. So, MMA, if you watch this video, Brian, Matt from MMA Fishing. Maybe uh, make a, a kid's fishing rod. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop till I get one on this lizard. Close up of the rig I'm running. All right guys, so what, from what I've noticed so far on my Moana rod, you can't really feel the bites on them because they're not sensitive at all, but you have to use uh, some line watching techniques. So not been too bad so far. I've actually had a few fish on that I didn't even know I had on until I start reeling in, but keep rolling. Got a PB. PB. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I about lost my princess for all guys. That would have been a bad day. Elsa went for a swim. Got one. Ooh. <laughs> He's wanting so hard to take it.
Oh, that's actually a decent one, dude, I believe. Woo! He is a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. Listen to that Shakespeare drag come out of there. <laughs> I'm done. A little bad little fish from Moana. Let's go. Back in there, buddy. I had one on too. I, about, I thought it was doubling up right there, but it didn't happen. Something catching like close to this tree. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, he ain't he ain't a giant, but oh get get over here. <laughs> You do if I can't find them with these things. Ah. Well, I give old Shakespeare credit. We've not caught no giants today, but that acts pretty good. Yep. Ah, finally got one on the lizard, and it's tangled up around the hook, but. Is a dink, but I'm just happy I got one on the lizard finally. Well, if these things could backlash, I would have definitely done it right there. <laughs> got one. <laughs> well, I think I'm hung. Dang. If only that was a fish. Boys, I apologize. I thought I was recording, but apparently not. But we got another one on the lizard. This one looks like it's fresh off the spawn. So we'll get her back in. That fish was wearing a diaper. I had a pass in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright boys, this definitely ain't a bad bass at all. Got this on the wacky rig worm, literally right there as soon as I cast it in. Pretty decent sized bass, probably my best one of the day. So we'll get her back in. Alright guys, so my GoPro died. I don't know if you can see this grass, but I caught that fish right on the edge of the grass right there. All right, no need to take up more time. It's a dink. We're gonna get her back in. All right, boys, so my GoPro died. However, pulled out another pretty decent sized bass from over next to this tree. Uh, hit as soon as my worm hit the water. So I see some more swimming around over here. We're gonna try to get in and get on them here. I'm gonna get her back in the water. Let's get it. Try it again. Oh. Alright, so we're wrapping up out here. What'd you think about the I about said Barbie rods, but princess rods. They've done the job. Hard to cast with and no sensitivity, but they done not. Yeah, I mean I think they actually done pretty good casting myself. Uh I was getting them in the spots I wanted it. Uh I think the hook set and the drag. Hook set was definitely Yeah, hook set was definitely the issue that we both seen. Um we got it we got it done though i think i got i can't even remember maybe five or six or something in the boat i don't know how many i lost or missed but yeah we lost definitely a lot more than what we got in the boat so overall though it wasn't a, a bad experience yeah guys be sure to go check out mma fishing or boys uh we usually use their rods but today we're using the shakespeare rods and we're actually going to link them down below as well give them a shout out for their kitty rods keeping the kids happy thin blue tight line go check them out some really cool apparel hats shirts way bags stickers and a little bit of everything
Also, a big shout out to DH Baits. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't use the spinner baits and jigs today uh, on these rods because spinner baits were too heavy and the jigs probably would have snapped on the hook set. So, but yeah, shout out DH Baits. We'll have them all linked below. Go check all them out. But we appreciate you all. Drop us like and subscribe. Peace.